Oh boy, what a game we had here. The final score after two overtimes. Lafayette 67, Albany 66. The Pards back over the 500 mark. And for more, Olivia Mulvihill here with our head coach, Kia Damon Olson. All right, thanks guys. Coach Kia Damon Olson, congrats on a great win Thank today. You. Now your team was in a similar situation last time you guys here were here in Kirby against St. Peter's. What was the difference with you guys coming out with a win today? Well, you know, we talked a lot at halftime about having experience in this situation, and I felt that while Albany was ahead at the half, a lot of it was our futility. And I just talked to them about just staying composed and doing what we need to do, do what we've been practicing for the last two months in terms of our defense. Our defense is one of the top defenses in the Patriot League thus far, and we have to rely on that to get us back into the game, and then the offense will be easier. Your offense really took off in those final minutes of the, of the fourth quarter. What really went behind that? You know what? Um, we're a really good shooting team, and we've been sporadic this season, so teams have been playing us a little bit more zone. And I just went to the guys, like, guys, all we do is move the ball, we'll get wide open shots. And then when you get them, just knock them down confidently. And then we got to rebound the ball. So, you know, they were a pretty big team, and they were a physical team inside. And, you know, hats off to the kids. They fought, battled. We had all sorts of crazy lineups in, and they just made it work. A long game today, obviously, but you guys do have a quick turnaround. What yeah. sorts of improvements are you guys going to look to make before Tuesday's matchup? Well, some of it's just rest. You can be a lot better when you're fresh. So we're going to do a little bit of that. And then we're just really going to watch film and talk through things. At this juncture, we had a week to prepare, and so we know it's just about doing at this point. Thanks so much, Coach. No now joined with our Coca-Cola player of the game, Olivia Martino. Now, Olivia, you surpassed your career high in scoring today. What really went behind your offensive surge? Um, well, we wanted to win, and, you know, we had to do whatever we needed to do <laughs> to win. So I guess scoring, obviously, was very important. Because, like, we were getting stops, but if we don't score, then, you know, it's hard to win. Now, Coach Damon Olson mentioned how your defense was really a key factor in today's win. How did you guys really stay on top of Albany? Um, just pretty much, you know, just pressuring them because obviously they didn't want that type of pressure. And again, you know, feel it, figuring out like what our weaknesses were and how to turn them into strengths, you know, in a sense, and make them uncomfortable. So I think that was very key, you know, to us getting a win. Your team has a quick turnaround before yes. matching up again on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. What are some things that you guys are going to do in order to prepare for that matchup? Well, obviously scout, review scout for the other team, and then, of course, come back in here and make sure we're straight on our stuff, and then, of course, we'll worry about them last. But more so focusing on us and making sure that we'll be able to execute and win the next game. Thanks so much, Olivia. Congrats on a great game. Thank you. Appreciate it. Back to you guys. Great there to hear from the two Olivias, one who's been doing the great job on the sidelines and Olivia Mobahill, and, of course, the new career high for Olivia Martino had 17 points twice as a freshman, but here 19 today. That, of course, again, the player of the game presented by Coca-Cola experienced the Coke side of life. We're here on the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division I sports. Join the Maroon Club today. And now we take a look, Mike, at uh, the highlights here uh, for today's game. And we have a lot. We, we have a lot of great things to talk about from today's game. No, we certainly do, and especially what took place in overtime. But you know what? Lafayette, they persevered coming back in the fourth quarter. And, you know, down by as many as 13 points. They fought back, and large in part was because of Olivia Martino, who ended up with 19 points on the day. And, of course, Alex Cantwell, who was a efficient two for two from three-point range. And for Lafayette, they ended up picking up in that aspect. But also, too, Albany, they had a... Hard time with keeping control of the basketball, turning it over 31 times. But Heather Forster with 16 rebounds, and you saw some nice blocks as well inside by Forster. And the big thing about it, too, was Nata Kukowski who ended up fouling out of the game. But still, Lafayette's bench coming into some big, crucial moments as well. So, But you saw frames working inside quite a bit here this afternoon to Alexi Schechter, who had some nice moments as well for the great Danes who though even had five points but still just her physical presence in playing on defense though but frames you can see why she's a special player Adam because not only just ending up with 23 points but hitting four big three-pointers from the field here this afternoon so but you know <laughs> this will be a game that Leopards fans are going to be talking about quite a bit here throughout the season and as you and I we get a chance to look at the stats and though I kind of already highlighted a lot of them but I can't stop but talk about the turnovers by Albany and that attributed to Lafayette scoring 31 points off turnovers. Yeah, and, and this, I think, also is one of those games, you look at it, 8 of 19 shooting from 3. They had only four three-pointers 
in 13 attempts over the first three quarters. They came through late, so they, you had that disparity. They were out rebounded 43-30, but they were able to even it up in that stretch in the fourth quarter. It did kind of go back out of their favor again when Kakowski fouled out, but it was just the right time for certain things that really was a team bonding effort, I would think, getting this comeback down 13, where again, you finished out things on a 19 to six run uh, to conclude regulation and then obviously come away with a tough uh, one point win here in double overtime. No, this is a win too that's gonna catapult them because usually teams could bounce back from these types of victories as well too. And what I like is that their stick to itiveness and being able to just stay within themselves. They didn't allow Albany's 13 point lead to deter them. If anything, it motivated them. And, you know, now I'm intrigued to see how they're going to match up on Tuesday. And uh, could a win like this really domino affect them in a way that, you know what, they were eighth in the preseason poll in the Patriot League. Does something like that can kind of give these gals some confidence that they're saying, you know what, we can win some games. And you know what, some of the critics may say, you know what, you beat just a one in six Albany team. Not so fast, my friend. You know what, Albany, they came out and they gave their best effort from the – uh, from their own aspects, you know, for how they've played throughout the season. So, but I thought for the Leopards today, this was an all-around great effort. So, and I like what Coach uh, Damon Olson said that you know what, some rest because obviously with that quick turnaround on Tuesday, <laughs> they're going to have to rest quite a bit. Yeah, and, and you mentioned it, you know, in terms of maybe the doubts about the record of Albany. They shot 44 percent today. That's a good shooting. That's yes. most likely going to get you wins. And that was the one thing they were struggling in was to get that offense going. They found their offensive touch in a lot of ways today. Frames had another good game. You, you had a case where you, you had to shift the starting lineup a little bit because you knew what Lafayette would do well on the boards and they won that rebounding battle. So there's some good things from Albany. I thought this was a good hard fought win from Lafayette. This wasn't a case where oh they kind of got lucky the other team let them come back. It was a hard earned comeback victory. This is something that can help the team to bond moving forward. And speaking of moving forward, well, we have to move forward here in the Lafayette Sports Network and we will have men's basketball action coming up and that'll be tomorrow. We had ourselves here 50 minutes of excitement here at Kirby at least 40 more to come up 2 p.m. for the start time for men's basketball against Sacred Heart meanwhile for women's basketball we mentioned their next game it's on the road against Manhattan College on Tuesday but they'll be back here next Saturday a 2 p.m. start time as you have the Leopards going up against the Monmouth University Hawks well Mike obviously a very good one today anything else to say as uh, we finish up here it was a pleasure working with you, my oh, friend. Yes, what, always, a, what a always. great effort by they the Lafayette. Us they made us work hard, you and I, today. But uh, you know what? Lafayette, they, they need to go enjoy this. Hopefully their fans can enjoy this one as well, too. They're obviously their best victory of the season <laughs> to this point. Yes, yeah, a big one for Leopards. They were down by 13 in the fourth quarter, but come back to win the final score in this one after two overtimes of play. Lafayette 67, Albany 66. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This has been a presentation of the Lafayette Sports Network presented by the Patriot League Network on Steam. Have yourselves a good afternoon, everybody. A comeback victory for the parts.